Hello everyone and welcome back to Ray Zero Space and Kerbal Space Program 2 where I continue my construction of the International Space Station. We have here STS-115 with the P3-4 truss and we are going to launch. So starting, we have Newfin, Shanzon, Desvan, and Melpond. And I'm just going to skip the rest of the countdown and go. So, we'll have the P3-4 truss, and basically the P3 is a connector and the P4 is the main one that has the solar panels, and then there's the S3-4, and there were actually separate launches for the P5 and S5 trusses, those were still connectors though. We won't have separate launches for those, we'll bundle them in with the uh, P6 and, well the P6 has already been launched, and the S6, we'll just assume that those are the docking ports on those particular trusses because we don't have separate connector modules. So we'll keep it simple as far as that's concerned. Okay, roll complete. I have to make sure not to turn too quickly though. Uh, the lag is changing the amount of time that the pitch program takes in real time. So you have to be careful about that. I uh, have a tendency to go too shallow right now. Okay, booster set. I should put more separatrons, I think. Okay, they are off though. Okay, 30 kilometers seems like a magic point for stopping the rolling all over the place thing. It's a lot better at 30 kilometers. Okay, we are pretty much in line there. So, back out we go. Just have to point at the uh, prograde heading right now. And I'll take that. I don't know exactly what periapsis we should set for the external tank disposal, but perhaps that'll be good enough. Engine shutdown. Uh, let me restart them and shut them down when the gimbling is not all messed up, actually. External tank separation. And moving. Okay, that should be good enough. Let's see when our orbit touches the target orbit, and then we will be good to go. 0, 0.0 degrees. Even though I often try to avoid that, we are perfectly in line with the target right now. So the P3 slash 4, the... Oh, I still have the little docking port here. I didn't mean to do that. I guess that'll be fine. That was the docking port for the radiators. I didn't need that still. But the P3 slash 4, the S3 slash 4, the P5 and 6, the S5 and 6 will all be basically identical, except I guess I've got an extra docking port. And the RCS keeps firing in the bay because we can't really stage the RCS differently. So... Yeah. Alright, we seem to have solar panels, that's the important part. Okay, we have our intercept point over there. Okay, there's the station. We are hopefully approaching at dawn here. And that's a pretty standard parking location for us, so I'm going to slow down. Truss coming out of the bay here. Okay, truss is clear. And off we go to the station. Still combined 26, but we're just gonna let that be. And the station's orbit has gotten a little bit more lopsided compared to where I originally placed it well, after the burns with Zvezda, which had put it into a sort of circular-ish 180 kilometer orbit. Somehow all the dockings have sort of pushed it. We haven't used the RCS thrusters on it or any other thrusters. So it's ended up now in a 218 by 152. So it's a weird sort of fake orbital decay or whatever you want to call it. 
I think we're on the port side. This is the P3 slash 4. And we are on the port side, I think. I think this side is the 4 and this side is the F. We can sort of see the solar panels on Zvezda there. And then there's the P6 truss there. So I think we're docking right here. Okay. Okay, I think we've lined up well enough for now. Let me roll a bit. Oh, I think I rolled the wrong way. We need this port backwards. Well, I mean, I, we don't really need this port at all, but... You gotta put it anywhere. We could have it four and, like, have a storage platform on it. But I guess we'll have it aft. I don't know about all the weird glinting on the station that always happens that looks sort of like RCS thruster fire. I don't, like, I don't really like how that happens, but anyway. Uh, oh, I think it's already magnetized and it's just pulling them in. Maybe? Yeah, okay. Uh, Alright, so that is docked. Uh, that, this whole truss is quite obviously tilted a little bit, though. Or maybe maybe we'll say the P6... I mean, the P6 is also a little bit tilted if you take a look at Zarya there. Right? It's closer on this end than on that end. But that truss is obviously... <laughs> okay, but any... And this, this one is a little bit rotated, but actually the solar panels can be rotated like that, so... That's not necessarily illegal. Oh. Unfurling them like this doesn't cause unnecessary drag on one side or something. Suddenly has the whole station flipping around uncontrollably. Be fancy though. And we are bringing up the S3 slash 4 truss next. So we're skipping STS-116 with the P5 truss. But first, of course, the shuttle. <laughs> but first, of course, the shuttle. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Okay, so I think Windows has decided not to send me sound from the game anymore because it came up with a pop-up, your device needs to restart to install updates. And that cut out the sound. Yeah, I think that's cut out all the sound from the game. <laughs> uh, but uh, I think you guys can hear the sound from the game, so we'll just proceed. I see that it is probably just my headphones that are not receiving sound anymore because that tends to happen with every Windows update that all the sound devices get messed up. So, station going away there. Now wings are attached still. Okay, on our planning orbit it seems we're too far north. Somehow we've got more floaty debris in space. We used to only have one of those. Now we have four. I don't know what they are. But they're there. They're probably external tanks that didn't deorbit or something. That's the only thing I can think of. So... Of course we've got the land debris from crashes probably. A little bit past periapsis is where we need to retro. Right about here-ish. Shut down. Okay, 23 kilometers. Looks pretty close. I feel like I want to go a little bit south. By the time we get there, we're probably going to end up too far north, so... Let's just take that much. Uh, not as much as I had before. Okay, periapsis is going all over the place. Okay, impact point coming in. I think I should probably pitch down a bit. And we can use the OMS engines again like we did last time. I think I should. And maybe leaning a little bit to the right would be good. I think there's a cloud over the space center maybe? I don't know. I think it's over there. 
Why are these all pixelated over here? That's weird, isn't it? There's a sort of pixel zone. Uh, it's fixing itself, maybe. Well, our CS off for now. We can see the space center. We know we're going to have to make a drastic turn. And I forgot to drag shoot again. That's mainly because we keep carrying these solar trusses and they're similar to previous missions, so I just pull out the previous mission, like this is based on the P6 truss, and just roll with it. I don't know, do we have too much energy? I mean, last time I thought we had too much energy and then we fell short, so... It's tough. Island runway? <laughs> This feels more like an island runway situation. At the same time, the island runway doesn't... It isn't really cozy. <laughs> doesn't make me feel good about landing at it. It isn't even rendering right now. There is a runway there, right? <laughs> I wasn't just imagining things from before, right? Now it appears. <laughs> uh, but again, I probably dumped too much energy on the dive. Oh yeah, we're, we're not gonna make it. They need to increase the render distance on that runway. It's also a little bit tall. I forgot how high up it was. And... oh, Just sudden, complete loss. No, Gosh. Well... Shucks. We have lost... Newvin, Shanzan, Desvan, Melpon. It was looking pretty good, but... I just had too much distance to get back to the KSC. And it turns out we dove a little bit too much to get to the island runway. It's just... It's a little bit tough for me to fathom it right now. Darn it. Splashdowns should not be quite so violent. <laughs> uh, it, it was a nice approach to the water, too. Station is still good and intact. Prior to our next mission. I'm tempted to boost it up, but... Right now it's imbalanced because of the truss over there anyway. So I think it's probably too dangerous. Okay, so here we are with STS-117. We have Jonfurt, Bartery, uh, Nakbin, and Obner, and hopefully we do not get them killed. They are going to be delivering the S3-4 truss to the station. And with that, let's start and go. So again, basically identical to last time. Now as far as our landing troubles are concerned, mainly it's just I need to get a handle on things. Uh, I just need more practice with it. But it is very different from stock KSP-1. Let me make it clear, even though I was comparing last time to Realism Overhaul, uh, I have done shuttles in stock KSP-1 recently, relatively recently. Uh, so I am not unfamiliar with how that works and it's still very different from that at least ksp1 in its latest iteration okay booster is set okay we've basically been correcting inclination of the whole way and i went all the way up this time uh, so we've got very high apoapsis since we've been needing that and once again the station's behind us so we want a high orbit for the rendezvous so I decided to just go with it okay so we are going to go ahead and prepare for external tank set but yeah I basically corrected the inclination a little bit late so we still got 0.7 here okay External tank jettison time. Off we go. Uh, 
Okay, we have our intercept point. Everything seems to be nominal so far. Okay, we are slowing down at our normal distance away from the station. So yeah, uh, you can sort of see the lag around the station right now in terms of our uh, in-game progress as far as seconds versus real-time progress as far as seconds. So if you're wondering if these missions are taking longer right now, yes they are. <laughs> yes they are. They're taking a lot longer. They're taking serious amounts of time. Okay, well, that should be good enough. Let me save and get our payload out. Right now, I can't even convince it to show me the context menu for the docking port. I keep right-clicking on it. I'll just turn SAS off. Finally. Okay. Oh, well, that camera change isn't worrisome at all. A shuttle view. And get the cargo out of the bay here. Well, cargo seems to be clear of the bay. Well, I can't seem to right click on the docking port unless I turn off stuff on the shuttle. It's too busy with the shuttle maneuvering to give me the docking port information. Okay, well, I'll just bring up parts manager like this. Can I get the... Let's see... Uh, coupling. Coupling. Alright. And definitely reduce the docking acquire force. How did you get so strong? I think we were supposed to go right here. Well, I've had trouble with right-clicking on things this time around. This is probably not going to be too much different. Oh, maybe I got it that time. Okay, where are you? I had turned anti-aliasing on, but then it turned itself off, so maybe it's safer that way. I mean, it definitely would produce some extra lag, and we sure don't need that right now. But yeah, right now anti-aliasing is off, obviously. But I had tried to turn it on. Well, this is what approach looks like for me right now. Let not be said that uh, this is at all easy. Well, we're coming in a bit of skew here. I'm once again tempted to just let the magnetism handle it since it's so darn strong. Uh, we might get thrown off, we'll see. It's pretty askew. Sure. Will I regret this approach? No. Fine. Well, let's see. No. <laughs> uh, with all that lag, I'm glad I could... It has no lag once we finish, though. Once it's connected, it's much nicer. <laughs> uh, Row-wise, we're a little bit off on this truss, but again, uh, the solar panels can roll in that direction, so... I'm not too concerned about that. So, starboard solar panels, inner solar panels. And as far as actual solar trusses go, we only have one left to deliver because the P6 truss gets placed over there. It's just the S6 truss that needs to be placed here. And we're skipping the P5 and S5. So yeah, almost done solar-wise. Why can't it always have this much lag? <laughs> Why can't it always be this nice? Okay, well, this part done. Back to the shuttle. Which is here. 
And it's doing that funny thing with the target, but we're going to ignore that. And see if it can turn retrograde. Our procedures remain good, it seems. Up oh, there's the station. I basically keep the shuttle 500 meters away. Actually, it doesn't drift off very much while we're placing the truss either. Okay, getting into a lower orbit. Ignition. Okay, I think after this orbit we're coming down. And our strategy this time is to not have to do a U-turn. Uh, my goal is to slow down much more than last time so that we can fly straight in to the runway instead of having to make the big turn because managing the big turn is hard. <laughs> That's an extra bit of difficulty. And we'll still go with 23 kilometers. I'll just manage our descent on the way down differently. Closing the bay. But the main thing is we must not hit water. I mean, whatever we do, it's better to be over land. Even if we crash into hills, it seems better than hitting the water. So it looks like by the time we get there, we'll probably be on the landward side, I think. Which will be alright. So that'll be by design. Hopefully. Now, still not perfected. Okay, and we'll see about any last minute inclination correction. I'm not expecting to do one, but we'll see. We're coming in a bit heavy. Yeah, no, that, that looks like what I want. So, let's reorient properly here. Okay, we are proper, properly oriented and entering the atmosphere. Seem really far away though. We'll see. Maybe I should have been a little bit more towards the south here. Well, I'll try and turn a bit. Seems to be coming in a little bit early here. I don't know how we got things differently, but I'm gonna burn off some of the fuel and try and keep it from coming in a little bit too soon. Yeah, maybe I started a retro burn at the wrong point or something? I don't know. Seems like we're coming in way sooner than previously. I thought I did it at the same point, at the same altitude. I mean, hopefully having negligible pitch will help us glide a bit. That's what I'm trying for here. Instead of going with the higher pitch, but it's a little bit hard to handle. Yeah, that seems to have a very good influence. This entry is feeling like it take, it's taking ages, but I don't think the lag is any more than usual. Just a lot more tense after the previous time. Yeah, pitch is pretty powerful. We're like this at the moment. And as a sort of reference, I suppose, we're at 42 kilometers. 1700 meters per second and we're crossing the southern tip here with the impact point just below that bit that sticks out. I'm pitching up in order to try and slow down more at this point. You can see the space center area right here. I don't know, my concern about going too short might have been unfounded this time. You could go over here. It might be safer. Uh, I'll try for the runway. Well, I don't think we're going to end up as far off as last time, at least. But we're going subsonic now, and it really gets bad at that point. <laughs> uh, maybe I should just make the airfoil thicker or something. Maybe a different kind of airfoil would help. 
But I think we might be able to make the runway. Clouds are not helping. <laughs> okay, this time we need to assume that I'm just gonna lose way too much energy down there. Apparently these are the aerodynamic effects these days. This fuzziness. Extra aliasing. Extra aliasing is the aerodynamic effect. Um, yeah, I can't see the runway like that. <laughs> this is not going to be good for me. I can see that bit, but I don't know where it starts anymore. Well, I can see my shadow. Okay, where's stuff? Where's stuff? Come on. Uh, okay, I see the runways. Whew. This is not that bad right now. Oh, <laughs> I'm dropping a little bit more like a rock than I want to. Hold on. <laughs> cancel that thought. That Cancel that last. Well, that's 270. Pretty sure they put it right on 270. I might hit those the the pre runway bit. I can't pull up any faster. I went too slow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Eek. Uh, ow! I lost an engine. <laughs> oh, but the lag though. <laughs> uh, eek! 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 There sounds. There sounds. I don't know what kind of sounds those were, but actually we didn't kill. Oh gosh, it's going the other way. <laughs> I need to widen the wheelbase, maybe. I guess my reaction wheel can't do anything about this. Hold on. Okay, there we go. All better. <laughs> All better. All right, brakes. All right. Yes, that, that went just perfectly. Anyway, they're alive, and that's an improvement over the last time. Okay, there it is. Still intact. Oh, I made a jolt there. <laughs> it's trying to scare me. Okay, yes, it is still intact. And we will proceed with further missions in spite of all the difficulties. But with that, I'll say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.